The decoder is used to either encode or decode symbols depending on the situation. Also, some of the encoder features work inline. For example, we can tell Burp to encode our input as we type it by ensuring that the URL encode as you type feature is checked. That way, when we type various symbols, that would normally not be able to make it to the application because they would be parsed by the web server. This encoding prevents that from happening. But there's other forms of encoding available, especially when using the decoder tab itself. For example, if I take this input here and use it in a demonstration, we can go to the decoder tab and paste this URL encoded input. If we want to decode it, we click on decode as and then the type of decoding that we want to do, in this case, it would be URL. And there are other forms of encoding and decoding as well. And as you move down these different spaces on the page, you can encode or decode in either direction as you see fit. So for example, we decoded the URL encoded characters and got this result. If this were still encoded, we could further decode it but we can also turn around and go ahead and start encoding in some other encoding if we want to. Like for example, we might base64 encode this. And you can continue in either direction as you go down the page.